from each end points and length is given that is 70 mm so from this mid axis mark here a line at a distance of 70 by 2 that is 35 mm from here similarly 35 mm on left side and 35 mm on right side so this is the front view of given prism now after drawing this front view draw its top view by projecting vertical line and horizontal line right now this prism is inside this solid inside the cylinder so this line will not appear or this upper edge will not appear in a top view hence the edge which is not visible in any view are shown by dotted line so this line should be dotted which is inside this circle similarly this bottom face is also not visible this face in this edge will be visible up to this point only after this which is inside this circle so whatever solid inside this circle which not will not be visible hence this line is dotted as well as this line is also dotted so here two dotted line will be there here one dotted line and here one dotted line would be there after drawing this dotted line think about its front view when we are looking from front side what what is about this edge if we are looking from front the edges which is there inside the cylinder will not appear so this horizontal line this one upper edge this one this will not be visible inside this cylinder so this is drawn by dotted line similarly this bottom edge will also not be visible so that is also drawn by dotted line and what's about this point this line would be visible here internal portion would not be visible so how to locate that point so for that think about this point if we looking from top side this point the point of intersection would be this one intersection of line from d double dash and a circle this point this is the point of intersection between the cylinder and this horizontal line so from that point draw a vertical line these two points cut it over here for horizontal line from point d double dash so here two points would be there similarly mark this point a double dash would be here so draw horizontal line from point a double dash this line translate this point to top view like this vertical line from here horizontal line from here it cuts the circle at this point so from this point draw vertical line from this point draw vertical line that will intersect over here so we have identified three points and join all these three points with smooth curve because it is cylinder one solid is circular in nature is curvature in nature so we have to join these points with a smooth curve not straight line similar analogy should be employed over here to find out position of these two points b dash and d dash after identifying this after identifying these points many lines to be removed like this so here this line this vertical line will not appear because this cylinder is cut so cut this line like this so here this line will not appear here also this line will not appear this is final view you can remove this line as well because these are just generator lines you may have or you may not have so this is final answer of given problem this is vertical cylinder a horizontal penetrating pre prism and these are the points of intersection this is these lines are full line and this one two and three would be dotted line now to have this curve more smooth you can take intermediate point for projection as well how to take this intermediate point so for that you can put midpoint of a dash d double dash over here from this point draw vertical line it will cut this 45 degree line somewhere here from that draw horizontal line 
that is the that will cut the circle over here from that point draw vertical line so vertical line from it from that circle and horizontal line from this midpoint will be somewhere here so you can find out intermediate point as well for better and smoother curve so there this is regarding cylinder and square prism now one more another problem that is intersection of cylinder and cone this is one view of cylinder and cone vertical cylinder is there and a cone is penetrating inside the cylinder given data is like this a cylinder of 80 mm diameter and 100 mm axis is completely penetrated by a cone of 80 mm diameter 120 mm long axis horizontally both axis bisect each other again here bisection is there means midpoint of the axis needs to be find out first here in this given problem draw front view and top view of given cylinder as we know top view of cylinder is circle and the front view of the cylinder is rectangle so first draw xy line which represents intersection of hp and vp and draw a circle of given dimension and draw its front view that is rectangle axis now after drawing front view and top view of vertical cylinder draw this cone and in in front view the cone will appear as a triangle how to draw this cone so for that first find out midpoint of this axis it would be somewhere here from this midpoint what's the height of the cone cone is 120 mm long so from this axis from this axis 60 mm on this side and 60 mm on this side mark two points from these two points draw horizontal line mark here vertical lines at a distance of 120 mm apart and then after this height that is equal to diameter of the cone that is 80 mm so mark it 80 mm this length is 80 mm and here join the end point of this height that is 80 mm to this apex point join them with a straight line so that is front view of given cone this is so this cone is inside the cylinder hence this innermost side will not appear in front view so join this with dotted line because it is inside the solid and hence it's not visible in front view after drawing this front view we can draw its top view as well with the same method project this front view like this draw vertical lines find out axis it would be center of the circle from the center draw horizontal line 60 mm on left side 60 mm on right side put the points and complete the triangle and again here in top view also this edge or this slant edge will not appear so it is shown by dotted line like this so we have drawn front view and top view now we need to draw this curve of intersection two curves would be there upper one is this is a arc this is an arc and this would be a curve so how to locate the points of intersection between these three so for that here we we can draw side view of this cone or other than uh, drawing side view we can draw like this also draw semi circle divide this semi circle into equal number of parts and project these points and draw imaginary generators like this because if we draw side view then also we have to divide the side view into equal number of parts and then after taking projections so here i have skipped that step and directly divided this semi circle into eight eight equal parts or four equal parts and then drawn imaginary generators similarly this generators to be translated over here in front view or here also you can draw semi circle divide into four equal parts and then draw generators after drawing these generators think about point of intersection how to draw point of intersection again think about this see here to find out 
point of intersection between two solid just think about single solid this is a cylinder here the point of intersection between the cylinder and this edge edge from drawn from point 1 here is one point so intersectional point is here and from this point draw vertical line like this and that will cut horizontal line from point 1 days over here somewhere here to find out position of point 2 this is generator 2 and generator 2 will cut this circle somewhere here so from this draw vertical line that will cut generator 2 that is 2 days so here is the point similarly here point 8 is there so o days o8 is here so intersection of o8 and the circle is this point from this point draw vertical line that will cut o days 8 days at this point so with the similar analogy find out position of all these points and it would appear like this here two points would be there but both these two points will be at the same position so here instead of locating two points we can locate one point and give two names similarly on this side as well with the same analogy do here like this to find out position of this point this point is on o1 days so o1 is this this is o1 generator find out intersectional point of o1 generator in the circle it is somewhere here this is the point from this point draw vertical line that will cut o days 1 days at here then o2 2 o2 will cut the circle over here from this point draw vertical line that will cut o days 2 days at some point then after join all these points with a smooth curve like this so this is the point or curve of intersection between cylinder and cone both will be regular arc or it would be irregular arc join the outer edges with solid line and remove the unwanted portion this is final answer because here many lines needs to be trimmed out say here the cylinder was rectangle but in this portion is removed it is cut portion so no any line would appear in this region similarly this vertical line also needs to be trimmed out right and this is this two are dotted line this two are dotted line so this is final answer of given problem you can trim out this projection line as well because it is also not needed like this so this is final answer of given problem clear yeah. so now next problem that is about square prism square prism both solids are square prism and given data is like this a square prism 30 mm base and 70 mm axis is completely penetrated by another square prism of 25 mm sides 70 mm axis horizontally again here axis is horizontal and both are bisecting each other all faces of prisms are equally inclined to vertical plane draw projections showing cause of intersection here both are prism so point of intersection or line of intersection would not be curve it would be straight line because both are both the solids are having straight lines both are prism so in case of if both are prism then the curve of intersection would be straight line so it would not be curve now how to draw its front view and top view so for that draw xy line which represents intersection of hp and vp like this and draw top view of given square prism it would appear like this it would be a square such that all the sides makes an angle of 45 degree with xy line like this name this end points 1 2 3 and 4 and draw vertical lines from all these end points and draw its front view it would appear like this a rectangle and here this edge 2 would be visible in front view so it is shown by full line name this points in front view to draw its side view 
again draw a line at an angle of 45 degree and translate all these points 1 1 2 3 and 4 to this line from that draw vertical lines like this and draw horizontal line from here and complete this rectangle so we have drawn front view side view and top view of square prism which is given which is vertical prism now to draw another prism which is penetrating prism prism it is having horizontal axis it penetrates horizontally so here we need to draw its side view again and both the axis bisect each other so in side view we need to find out midpoint of the axis or midpoint of this height after drawing this locating this midpoint put it over here and complete this square as we discussed earlier after drawing this a square the next step would be name the end points a days b days or a double days b double days c double days and d double days after naming the end points draw horizontal lines from each points and then draw its front view because both bisect each other and length of this penetrating prism is 70 mm this the distance between this axis and this vertical line would be 35 mm so this 35 plus 35 total would be 970 mm so this is front view and to draw its top view again to draw projection line from side view translate it to top view like this so this would be its top view vertical line from here like this and horizontal line vertical line from here here vertical to horizontal and here vertical so this is the top view again think about the types of line which type of line would appear in front view as well as in top view first we take the case of top view if we are looking from top side here from top side in that case this square would be fully visible so this one two three four would be full lines right but here inside the square no solid will appear this horizontal prism will not appear anywhere inside the square so the line or edges of this prism which is inside this square will